I'm here with Dean Thomas on Infuse TV. How's things going? Man, what's up, man? I didn't know your last name was Thomas. Yeah. We could be brothers, cousins somewhere down the line. We might be, actually. Yeah. 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 What, what's your mom's name? Uh, Jacqueline. No. <laughs> you know, my pops was crazy. Mine was, too, actually. Yeah, so, like, we never know. We might be brothers. Hey, man, we kind of talk a lot, too. Yeah, you know? Nah, you're a little deeper than me. A little deeper. Yeah. But our style is kind of the yeah. same. Yeah, that's what's up. You never know, man. <laughs> now, you're going to be doing play-by-play -play at the Rise of the Warrior 5. Tell me about that. I'm excited. You know, I've been doing play-by-play uh, -play for quite some time now, and this is one of the cards that I'm really, really excited about. Um, it's a great card. The main event is phenomenal. You know, the 175 pound or 170 pound tournament is just, you know, I'm really looking forward to it. I think, and you know, I, I put up a, a post uh, on my Facebook page that this might be the best amateur card ever made, and I really believe that. Now, what are the reasons for that? I don't know. I think that they just found a lot of talented guys uh, to fight in this card, and uh, and the main event in itself. I mean, you know, you couldn't find two better amateurs in the country. Now, Chad Livingston, Charles Rosa, which is the huge event. Now, you actually have trained with Chad Livingston several times. What do you expect in this fight from him? It's a pretty evenly matched fight, I think. I've trained with Charles Rosa once, um, you know, a really tough guy, you know, and I've trained with Chad. I've been training Chad for the last couple of years, so, um, I mean, I think they're evenly matched. You know, I, I don't think that me training with uh, – Charles Rosa is going to have any influence on the fight at all. I mean, at the end of the day, two of these guys, they're going to go out there and they're going to try to kill each other. And they're going to try to, you know, one of them's going to leave with the belt. I think it's an evenly matched fight. I think that, um, you know, the winner of it will definitely be the the king of Florida and the amateur division. And really, I think that these guys could beat most pros in Florida, to be honest with you. So, I mean, you know, these guys are, are really, are really sharp. Now, Charles Rosa is a jiu-jitsu guy. Now, Chad Livingston, what do you think he needs to do in order to not get tricked by a jiu-jitsu? You know, I mean, obviously, you know, when you say, when you fight a jiu-jitsu guy, you obviously want to keep it, you know, keep it standing and kind of raw and sprawl. It's kind of the old, you know, catch cliche. But, you know, Chad is no slouch on the ground either. So, I mean, I don't think that, you know, to be honest with you, I don't think either of them have an advantage on the ground. I think that both guys are sharp on the ground. And, um, you know, it's just, like I said, it's just going to be a good fight. It's just going to be a matter of, who makes a mistake first, and, and who ca and his, if the other guy's able to capitalize on it? How do you think these two fighters' future are going to be after this fight? You know, I think after this fight, like I said, these guys could fight pro right now, and I think that they would beat a lot of pros and make it to the, uh, a pretty decent level as a professional. I think this fight is just kind of, um, I think we've been fortunate enough to have these guys fight, to, to have them still be amateurs to fight, to fight each other. Um, but I think after this fight, you know, when they turn professional, um, if they decide to do it after this fight, I think that they're going to have a phenomenal career, a long career. Both of these guys are hungry. Both of them are really dedicated, and they're they're craftsmen. You know, they 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 take pride in what they do. They're passionate about what they do, and uh, man, I'm just, I'm looking forward to seeing how they do in their career. Now you got a couple other fighters who actually train here at American Top Team PSL. It's going to be in the Rise of the Warrior Five. You got Carlos Lopez, Raymond Camp. How, how excited are you are to see them fighting this card also? Yeah, I'm excited to see. I'm, I'm really excited to see Carlos. Carlos is bananas. You know, this guy, he's, he's, you know, I heard he actually, he called to mind and said he wanted to spar with Hector Lombard. You know, he's, he's pretty crazy. Like, nobody does that. I mean, Hector would probably be a little like, man, what's wrong? You know, so, but Carlos is the type of guy that he, he likes to fight. He doesn't mind getting hit. He likes to bang it out. So, I think I expect him to do pretty well in this tournament. Ray Camp, you know, he's undefeated. You know, and he's a... Uh, you know, he, he's a, a terrific fighter himself, and I expect him to do really well in this tournament. I mean, Ray is a, uh, you know, he's a, a never-quit type guy, and, you know, I expect big things from those guys. Now, Raymond's actually one of the first fighters to fight in Rise of a Warrior, too. Yeah, Ray, um, yeah, I'm not sure which, uh, I know he fought in the first one. I mean, Ray, yeah, he fought in the second, fought in the second one, and he's a big draw in the area. I mean, you know, he's one of my instructors, and, you know, he's a, a popular guy in the area. And, you know, when it comes to his work ethic and training, I mean, he loves to train. He's, you know, in fact, I was at the gym last night. I didn't leave till midnight, and he was pulling in. He was pulling in. I was like, what you going to do, clean? He was like, nah, man, I'm coming to work out. So he, he's that type of guy. He's a real dedicated guy. Now, let the people know what site they can find you doing play-by-play -play during the Rise of the Warrior 5. You can go to www.cagejunkies.com. I'll be doing play-by-play -play alongside with Jeremy Loper and Glenn Mincer. We will also have the fights live streaming at www.riseofawarrior.com. GoFightLive.com, GFL.TV. Is that right? Correct. <laughs>
Kendrick Thomas and Fuse TV, Dean Thomas.